this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Let's head on over to the Zeklaus Desert and rescue the Marquis Andor. I, I mean, Elmdor. Kind of funny how they have similar sounding names. But anyway, uh, for this battle, this is a little different than the other ones that we've had. We have to split our party into two squads. Here, we can only put two units. Now over here, this is the important part. If you have someone who's learned the Paralyze spell, like Taku there, then absolutely put them here. If you have not, you probably want to put a Knight or some high HP character here, because, well, you'll see. But definitely put someone with uh, black magic or something like that over here. Melee units should probably get the battle boots for this battle because of the layout of this area, and, well, I'll go over that when we get there. Sand rats are here. Holy cow. The worst kind of rats. Well, it doesn't look much like a desert. No, those are just rumors. Fiendish slander. You die. They don't seem very organized. There's only six of them. Six is my lucky number. Not seven, though. Six. I like six. Yep, you're all gonna die. A horrible, horrible, fiery death. Uh, there's a whole lot more guards than that. But anyway, with this battle, this one's very easy. Because there's only two corridors that they can get out of the house. So you can basically trap them in there, practically. And force them to bottleneck through there and take them out. Either one at a time, or a whole bunch at a time. However you want to do it. Fortunately, I've taught Delita and Algus to throw stone. So they can get a little action in on first. Oh. Well, that's no good. I guess because I taught Algus to throw stone, he's not going to block the passage. This, this could be really bad. Now they can just pour out of there. Well, okay, everyone's missing today, apparently. So, whatever works. A monk named Rush. Chicago Rush? No. No. But anyway, yeah, they're just gonna line up there in a nice, tight little pattern for my fire spells. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna burn them alive! But, first things first. Now, monks, a uh, new enemy unit, they have quite a bit of natural evade, so you gotta be a little careful for that. But uh, if you hit them from the sides or from behind, you should be fine. Ha! There we go. Yeah, kind of taking advantage of that a little bit. Let's look that way. And, yeah, we'll still hit them from behind. I'm not worried about the leader. Yeah, let the leader get the finishing glow. I gave Ramza the iron sword there because I thought that might be more useful for him. Okay, now this is where the fun begins. <laughs> okay, yin-yang magic, paralyze! Oh, by the way, you see this roof tile? Watch this. If you just stand there, or let the cursor hover there, it'll let you select the roof unit or the tile under there. So you gotta be a little careful with that. Let's go with this tile. Yeah, I wanna get Don't Act to hit at least three of them. That would be really nice. Now, with my spells here, uh, let's see, I want to go on the offense first. I don't. I could set up haste, but I don't want it. Not right now. How much do I care about that knight? Yeah, he could be irritating. Let's go after the two knights. Even though I could hit three enemies over there, the knights are going to be more dangerous because I'm not probably not going to get don't act on all of them. I like the little quotes they sometimes say before they cast spells or use knight sword abilities. Why can't I hit anything? No one is hitting anything. If I can get at least two of those guys out of the way with Paralyze, that would be nice. Especially the Archer. I can't hit any... No, everyone is hit is missing everything today. Normally, Par Paralyze works a lot better than that for me. Well, I'm not going to sit here and re-record. Well, you guys get to sit here and let me uh, get some adversity. Even they can't hit me! Wow! What is going on here today? 
Well, anyway, you see how they're bottlenecked there? Even though I didn't completely block off that passage there? Go, Delita! Go! Yeah. Now go through the passage, don't back away! Yes, Delita! Usually the AI will tell him, oh, uh, you should probably hit them and then well, hit and run, basically, but... Well, fortunately, they actually did the right thing this time. Unfortunately, now they're gonna start wailing on my mages there because I didn't... Yeah. <sighs> I, I can't hit anything today, viewers. Uh, let's see. Do I go after that? No, no, I'm going after the archer. Unless he has really good evade, which he does not, so we are good to go! Finally, I can hit something! Whew! There we go. Oh, and even you can get it on the action. Maybe you can finish him off? Oh, you must not have very good... Game? Well, let's block off the passage there, even though that might put me a little bit at risk. How are we doing there? Okay, well, I can at least get that out. Oh, but there's the other guy over there. Um, game? Help? What is that guy's name? Yeah, he's, uh, he's... Oh, wait, no, he's not going to get his turn very soon. I can't heal myself, though. Maybe... Hmm. That would hit him. Maybe. Screw it, let the monk get hasted. We'll hit all three of us and maybe we'll get our turn so I can heal. And besides, I might get Don't Act on him, so who knows? Maybe Algus will use a potion on us. Come on, haste all of us and not him? Okay, two out of three, not bad. We didn't haste the monk, so we're okay. We're... This is an improvement, a step in the right direction. Let's hit one out of two. Okay, come on, two for two. One time, dealer! One time! Yeah! Alright, there we go. We can actually hit something. But yeah, Don't Act basically prevents them from doing just about anything. It's really good crowd control. Unfortunately, it doesn't last all that long, but it lasts long enough. Thank you, Algus. Sometimes they use potions indiscriminately. Sometimes the game actually has a brain. Well, there we go. Can you, uh take him out? No, no, I was thinking maybe I could whack him upside the head with my rod, but uh, no, that wouldn't be a good idea. Oh, I don't even need to heal anymore. Uh, well, maybe I can protect. Yeah, sure, why not? Or wait, is that guy gonna get his turn? Let's find out. Let's see. No, he will not. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we'll be in good shape. Might as well protect everyone and keep bottlenecking here. Always keep someone in that doorway there, because sooner or later Protect is going to wear, or well, yeah, Protect is going to wear off. But sooner or later, they're going to try and get through, or they might actually do get through. So. And I'm kind of worried about that knight there a little bit, too. I don't think he can get over to my oracle, though. I'm making my characters into oracle and time mage instead of priest and wizard right now, because I want to work on priest and wizard long term, whereas Priest and or or Oracle and Time Mage, I'm going to learn a, a few abilities from them, and then I'm going to move on for the most part. Although I will probably get some other abilities later, but not right now. Well, good thing Protect is working there. Okay, who is next? Who wants supper? Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, let's go after the Archer next. Good to go! Finish them, Otaku! I was trying to remember if that was Otaku or Taku. Maybe I should have had him go black the passageway. Or killing the knight. That works too. One, two, three, four. Yes! I don't even have to move. I don't want to move because uh, I don't want that knight being able to get around to my my oracle there, who is kind of dying right now. <laughs> I wanted to hit four of them at once, but I will take three. That's fine. Let's see, Algus doesn't need any healing, does he? No, no. So we'll just play it safe. Go after the knight. Don't use a potion. Good boy. Who's a good boy? 
Whack them upside the head. Kick their ass. Maybe garrote them? No. No, that'd be a little extreme. I like the hat the Time Mage has got going there. It's like a triangle hat. We'll get one of those later. Yeah, a lot of the equipment in this game was reused in Final Fantasy IX. So you notice a lot of the names are the same. Well, that's why. I was thinking about whacking him upside the head, but uh... Hmm. What's the AT look like? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Oh yeah, he has no evade. But I want my knight and Delita to do stuff. Um, whack this guy upside the head. Why not? He doesn't have a counterattack ability. Get some JP out of it. Why not? Okay, now let's stop goofing around. Oh, oh. Okay, why does he have such good magic evade? Huh, that's... Hmm, that's weird. Hmm, I don't know why that's working. Well, never mind. Carry on! Just trying to see who's going to get their turn and win. Okay, yeah, I can take those two guys out with a fire spell. Maybe. Oh, they can get me on both ends. Well, that's not going to work at all. But then again, they always get me at both ends, no matter what I do. So, oh well. These guys like making you take it up the ass. Yeah, just keep pummeling them with rocks, Delita. That's a great idea. Come on, miss, miss! Oh. Don't I have any evade? I would think I would at least have some. Well, apparently all my evade from the beginning of the battle has gone away magically all of a sudden. Yeah, let's just go for the monk there. Hopefully, Ramza will not get his turn until after the fire spell. Let me see where I targeted the fire. Yeah, I can't, I can't go right next to the monk anymore. Oh, well. Oh, but I can uh, use Wish on my time mage. Why not? Got none. I am using that a lot more than I did in the in my test runs. And this battle is taking a lot longer than it did in my test runs because I'm missing so much. Well, if I can take out those two. How are these guys evading my spells with like 3% evade? That happened in the last bit video, didn't it? Wow. Okay, I don't need to block the door anymore. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that'll... Well, at least everyone is missing today, so the game is being fair. Does anyone need any healing? No, no, just whack the guy upside the head. Or you could just dodge everything. Why not? Yeah, buffs only seem to last about two rounds or so for some reason. Eh, whatever. Oh, maybe I should have... Uh... Oh, well, I'm out of magic now. Maybe I can whack Delita upside the head. Someone was saying I I could do that and... No, no, I don't want to chance it. I don't need JP that badly. Someone was saying I could still get experience out of it or JP or whatever. Uh, eh, I wouldn't do that even if I wanted to. Apparently, mages don't have that much evade. That will change. Evade is... Really good in the first couple chapters. Not so much later in the game. Enemies start getting more abilities that uh, bypass evade and such. Alright, go Krona! Get in there. Finish him! Yeah! We can actually hit the broadside of a barn! Woohoo! Yeah, we couldn't hit dirt. Oh, man, that one took me a lot longer than it normally does. Normally I can get, like, paralyzed on, like, three or four of them and hit, like, four of them with a fire spell at the beginning, but no! Algus, you know, didn't want to get his hands dirty and block the door. Oh, well. Let's see what's going on now. Oh, it doesn't look like things are working out too well for you. Well, yeah, that would be a priority. What do you mean by that? 
I like how they kind of have unique sprites there. Nice little touch there with the artwork. The boo box. The boo box. Yes. Or that. Some impressive little animation. We never had anything like this back then. Not in the Super Nintendo days. Hell no. We've got you trapped at last! Why? You're like 10 feet away from him. What are you gonna do? Use a magic sword on him or something? Oh, he might. Oh, he's just gonna let him go. Well, there we go. Thanks a lot. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Uh, okay. Sounds like a fair trade. Why not? Uh, we're 12, dude. Actually, I think they're like more like 16, but they look like they're 12. Oh, well. Well, at least we got them back, I guess. Uh, that should have a question mark at the end of it, but yeah. Yeah, that is true. I mean, look at it. I mean, we could have killed, I am guess, at least one, probably killed the other two also. Well, okay, that's everything we got to do here. So let's take, uh, 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 I almost said Andor, <laughs> Elmdor, back to Egros there. Uh, after finishing this battle and some other battles, uh, new equipment will become available. So I'm going to do some shopping, learn some new abilities, and then we can report our victory to Egros. Next time, let's play Final Fantasy Tactics. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.